Hello community, I hope you have been good with this discussion. We will see how to install and configure WCAD stream into PBM in Windows system to generate a queue of template engine reports. So, in case you missed previous discussion about how to configure Odoo in PyCharm, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Webland's channel. Here you can click in the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see how to develop my list is available. And here are different topic wise real test tests available. And in case you need any support related to Odoo, you can visit the about page. Under the about page, you can send your query to the email address. Apart from this, source code also available in the GitHub. You can check using this link. We have some different social media pages. Make sure you can follow to get the latest notification. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest notification. And you can also support this channel using join button or using PayPal or buy the coffee. Alright, so let's back to our main topic like how you can install and configure WCAP streamer to PDF in Odoo in Windows system. Right now let me go to here in the cells. Let me click to any of the cells order and I will try to print this quotation. Right now you can see here this report having this error and it's displayed like this, right? So this WKHTML to org this feature is not right now available and due to that it's not generate a PDF report. But here you can see the best thing is Odoo automatically convert that PDF to HTML so you can see this report like okay. So for that, so we need to install So for that, like we can go to the download page and here, according to your uh, operating system, you can just download any of this one. So I just choose this one because right now I'm using Windows operating system, Windows 10 operating system 64 bit. All right. Now, here I already installed this one. So let me install this application. next and let me copy this part install and let me close right so it's installed and let me restart the service now if you don't know how to start restart automatic using this PyCharm configuration please check the previous video i already explained everything like how to configure Odoo in PyCharm with automatic process and the manual process now I will try to go to in this page, trying to refresh the page. Now I will try to print this report. You can see still this report is not working as expected, right? So for that, like I will go to the settings. Oh, let's say here in the settings, sorry, the configuration menu in a general. Here I will try to activate the developer mode. Now I will go to settings. In the technical, I will go to the system parameter. Here you can find out WKHTML, something like that. It's not up in here, right? So for that, here we can use webkit underscore path and here I will try to paste here this path plus I will go to here in the C drive and I will copy this path from here and let me copy this one so WKHTML to PDF, so you can just copy this name and you can pass here that way. And again I'm going to the cells. Alright, so say still it's not working right. So for that like I will go to the again here. 
in the list view. I will try to restart the service. I'll select any of this report, the record, and I will try to click to this the report. You can see still it's not up here, right? So for that, like we need to uh, restart the service, all right? So let me restart the service, and then after we will continue another the rest configuration. Alright, so let's start the Python. Let me open also the Google Chrome. And now let me restart the Google service. Now, still you can see here. So here you can see this is the warning map. So this is the information. So you need to get HTML to PDF to print a PDF version of the report, right? So let's first start our uh, test here whether the, it's working or not while you restart the service, right? We are going to step by step and if we don't need any steps, we will skip those ones. And now let me go to the cells. Let me click to any of this report and click to this for as an order. And now still you can see this is not working yet, right? So now what I will do is we'll go to the system properties and here you can see environment variable is here. I will try to click with this one and here like system variables we need to add here. Like we have to first find out the path. This is the path. We have to add it here and we have to copy that specific path, right? So for that one, let me go to it. Property files, we will get you know, the PDF. Okay. Now let me copy this part. In user variable, in a user variable as well as in the system variables, right? All right. In the part action, let me stop the service and return the service one more time. Now, let us I will try to open this order. Up first, let me call close this one. Still, you can say it's not working right. So let me restart one more time, and then let's check. Okay. All right. So let's start the Google service. And meanwhile, let me, oh sorry, local calls. So let's grab. Right. So now you can see here, the message automatically changed. So we use the HTML binary from this one, right? So let me go to here in the cells.
and I will try to print this link. So you can see automatically download this PDF file. And if you open this one, you can see the perfect PDF file automatically generated by Odoo, right? So you have to remember one thing like when you install Odoo in Windows system, right? So first thing is you need to add the compatible packages for the Odoo and that is available here in the requirements.php file. All they should be available otherwise what do you want to work somehow it won't be start the Odoo service automatically and while it's runtime also giving the rise the errors so you are not able to active so you can't you're not able to access in the runtime side right so that is the first thing then after you can try to install WPHTML package why because this is obviously made for the reporting purpose as you can see like we don't have any WHTML to PDF packet then what happened so I'm not able to download the PDF format but instead like it will generate the HTML format right so yeah so this is the basic configuration like how you can configure this WHTML to PDF in the Windows operating system I hope you enjoyed this one and in case you have any doubt, please comment below and see you in the next session.